From the time we are born, we are raised on fairy tales. Fairy tales such as Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Snow White. Stories like these often depict two things in common. A villainous character with no apparent motivation, <laughs> and a prince that instantly falls in love with a princess. Reality is not so simple as our author or the story maker often incorporates twists and turns before us the readers can finally reach our happily ever after. This comedy pokes fun at the seeming simplicity of these tales. I present to you The Brothers Grimm Spectaculathon by Don Zelitis. Once upon a time there was a girl and she was poor. Oh, I am poor. This girl would one day grow to make a deal with an evil enchantress. I shall make you rich, rich, I tell you, beyond your wildest dreams. I only ask for one small thing in return. Wow, that sounds like a bargain. I'm not even going to ask what that one small thing is because I'm so caring and innocent. And so the girl grew and conceived a child, Rapunzel. Seriously, Rapunzel? I liked Amber. And Rapunzel also grew into a beautiful young teenager. But just then, poof, I have returned. Oh, you again. Fine, what do you want? Why, your child, of course. Oh, one second, please. Yes! Run along, dear. Okay, first of all, ouch. And second of all, I don't want to go with the creepy old lady. Come, Rapunzel. I have built a great big tower for you. And so Rapunzel was locked away. During her long and rigorous years, her hair grew and grew and the enchantress decided to use it as a ladder. Hey Rapunzel, won't you let down your hair for me? With one magnificent whoosh, all her hair fell to the ground, which the enchantress began to climb. Once she was up, the enchantress asked, so what's up? Well, basically I just sit here in my tower, all right? All, all night? Why? Psst, narrator, what's my motivation here? It doesn't really say. No reason. Probably I'm just bored. Well, I want a job. Too bad. Do some housework. There's no furniture. Go make some. Goodbye. As the enchantress receded back to her room, a prince happened to arrive. Whoa there, Hosey. Easy there, big fella. What's that? You're right. That chick has like 50 billion feet of hair, which I find attractive for some reason. You there, won't you let down your hair for me? I don't let down my hair for just anyone. But I'm very attractive. Okay then. As the prince, appro prince appro approached Rapunzel, he asked her questions. So, uh, do you come here often? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Psst, narrator, what are we supposed to talk about here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, what am I supposed to talk about here? It says right here, chapter 5, page 14, that you two instantly fall in love. That's pretty shallow. Shouldn't he get to know the true inner me? Okay, we're going to try this out again. Bam! Love! Oh, still not feeling it. All right, let's try again. Bam! Love! Hey, I felt something that time. Yeah, like a breeze or something. That must have been it. All right, one final time. Bam, love, I love you, and I love you too for all the wrong reasons. And so the two finally fell in love. But little did Rapunzel know, her wicked stepmother was right there the entire time. Who was that? Nobody, don't lie to me. You're being overprotective. And just then, the enchantress decided that she'd had enough of Rapunzel's whining, and with two snips, all of her hair was gone. Ah, I'm bald! Now, I know what some of you out there were thinking. That girl totally needed a haircut, but that was some pretty harsh parenting. Anyways, back to the story. I now shall banish you to a forgotten desert in the middle of nowhere and put this hair on my head and wait for that hunky prince to arrive. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Coming, my love. As the prince reached the top, he realized that she was not Rapunzel. Ah, you're not Rapunzel. Seriously, since when do you care who's up here? 
I am a mighty prince, and I shall defeat you. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Well, I must banish you too. Bippity boppy, oh, wrong spell. Poof. And just like that, the prince was also banished to a forgotten desert. But as luck would have it, say, is that Rapunzel I see? My love! And the two were finally united in the end. So they lived happily ever after with no hair care products or kingdom. The end.